Hello and welcome to First Coast Living. I'm Jordan Wilkerson. You know, it's news that no parent wants to hear, but their child has a heart condition. Luckily, there's a promising development when it comes to heart monitors. And as Mike recently discovered, the new device could be a game changer for pediatric patients. The FDA has greenlighted the first and only insertable heart monitor for children two and older. So let's welcome in heart patient and parent, Kimberly Petronio. Hey, welcome to the show, Kimberly. Thanks for having me, Mike. Okay, so let's start with this. Tell us about your heart health journey and what led to your ultimate diagnosis and your son's diagnosis. Um, so I had some unexplained fainting events in my early 30s and I wore some external cardiac monitors and I didn't get a lot of information about that. So I was pretty much cleared from cardiology and that didn't sit right. So I sought out an electrophysiologist who's a specialist in cardiac conduction issues. Um, he, he reviewed my information and recommended me to have an implantable cardiac monitor placed. So I did and a full year after I had that, that device placed, it captured and recorded a dangerous heart rhythm that um, explained my, my fainting events. And I had an emergency pacemaker placed because my heart was flatlining for an extended period of time. Wow, okay. And now as a, as a parent, uh, you have of course an insertable heart monitor and uh, you actually your young child. So what does this FDA clearance mean to parents? It's um, essential, it provides an opportunity for, for more patients to have access to this device when after my diagnosis and treatment, my kids were evaluated and one of my sons, Donovan, had several external cardiac monitors placed and they just didn't capture the information that we were looking for. If you don't have the external monitor on during an event, it's not gonna capture it. So he was also recommended for the insertable cardiac monitor, which was placed. And it only took a month for his um, diagnosis that his heart was pausing for a period of time. So having access to this device is essential for parents that have concerns and would like to know more information about their child's cardiac health. Yeah, it's good to see your, your child running and doing flips. That just, as a parent, that must make you feel wonderful. What are some of the... Exactly, made me feel wonderful as well. And what are some of the signs and symptoms that made you a good candidate uh, for a long-term heart monitor? Um, unexplained fainting is never okay. It's, it's, there's usually an underlying reason for that. And fainting can happen pretty infrequently. So if you've tried the external cardiac monitors and they're either not tolerated or not capturing the information needed, an implantable cardiac device is, is potentially an opportunity that patients now two years and older have access to. So it's needed. And Kimberly, you've been through a lot here and you're giving folks lots of hope. So what advice can you give other parents who may be going through something similar? I think learning about this device and that it is now available and safe for, for patients who and older is great. Bring this information to your specialist. And if you've tried all the external cardiac monitoring, this is potentially the next step for you and your family. Very good. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on our show. And where can we go for more information? Um, Medtronic.com slash ICM has lots of resources for parents. Awesome. Thank you so much. And of course, you can head to our website and that's firstcoastliving.net.